Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. We are going to talk to you about what we did yesterday on Saturday and put that in right here, and then we will come back and talk about what we did today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. Hope you're all having a good day. Emily and I are uh, downtown. Well, I mean, we live downtown, but we're driving over to our friend's house, and um, we are going to go to the Caramel Christmas Kringle thing. What is it called? Chris Kendall. Chris Kendall Carm... Uh, we're going to the Caramel Chris Kendall Market. <laughs> I think it's a outdoor uh, market thing. Or is it out? Is it indoor now? Outdoor. I remember going to it one time. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I, I, I haven't been there in a couple years. So we're on our way over there. Um, and we'll ride over with friends. And uh, that's what we're doing. I went to the Chris Kringle Market in um chicago or you know it was just the christmas market or whatever it was it was really cool yeah the chris kindle market i went to that one in chicago they had a lot of stuff there a lot so look at this beautiful tree that is a beautiful tree and there's the garage a lot of people over there that place stays packed so but yeah that's what we're doing. We'll see you all in a bit. Here is the Caramel Chris Kendall Market. And we're on the outside of it. We're gonna go down there in a second. But we are walking over here to Cake Bake. There is uh, a lot of lights over here from Cake Bake and we're gonna show them to you. So here is Cake Bake. Some may say they are a little extra. Maybe. A lot of lights, a lot of... Uh, flashing but it's very nice it's very beautiful you can see the people in there enjoying their dinner or their food and here is probably some cake too here is a christmas tree so look at that it's so wild and it's very it looks very nice in there i've never been in oh they got a lot of people working in there these people are all dressed up too here is the chris kendall market in carmel it was a lot of fun. A lot of people were there. You can see the ice skating rink right there. A lot of people doing their ice skating, I guess. I, You know, there was a pretty long line for it, so I don't know if you have to pay to do it. I would assume you gotta pay, but I'm not sure. And all around the area, there was people selling Christmas things, ornaments, um, wood things, I don't know. But yeah, here's some people just skating around. It looked like a lot of fun. You know, I don't ice skate ever really but i've done it you know a, a few times so some were better than others so but yeah it, a lot of people were, were there with their family oh there's some sausages and i just thought that was cool on that giant fire thing interesting here's a christmas tree they had up a lot of people taking pictures around it and here's a band playing a trumpet band and there's Santa Claus. Uh, he's getting in his Lincoln or something. So we walked over there because we saw a reindeer as well. And there's a reindeer crossing the road. So uh, we didn't, I don't know where the reindeer set up, but it's somewhere there. And then there's a Zambino uh, making the ice smooth again. So that was what we did last night. It was a lot of fun. If you're in the area, you should check it out. The Caramel Chris Kindle Market was really cute and charming and fun. I felt like I was in a Hallmark movie for real. Not only is Caramel the town just very charming, but then when you dress it up in Chris Kindle Market gear, it's just over the top. You're like, wow, okay. I think yesterday was the first full day that it was open. Actually, it's not open all day. I I don't know what the hours are, but anyway, we went at nighttime, obviously, and so everything was lit up, and there was the ice skating rink, and we saw Santa and a huge Christmas tree, and I'm very glad that we went early in the season because... 
it wasn't really that cold. It was not freezing. So, boom, we and, did it. And we saw cake bake. Yes, we saw cake bake, which I had never been to the caramel one. And we didn't go inside, but we just walked to the front of it. And it was so beautiful. Oh, my word. They do such a good job decorating cake bake for all times of the year. But Christmas is just very special because extra lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have this little porch swing on the side of Cake Bake. I was going to sit there, but there was people over there. Yeah, so we got some hot chocolate at Chris Kindle Market. We looked at all the different little shops. And we took some pictures. And yeah, we, we also went out to dinner beforehand at this Mexican restaurant. I forget what it was called, but we had never been there before. And it was kind of like, not super fancy, but it was a little slightly higher end Mexican place. And it was really good. Like really fresh ingredients and all of that. So maybe we'll go back there someday. Although, I don't know. Caramel's cool, but I don't love going up there just because it's like 30 minutes away. And mm -hmm. I feel like you can do just as many fun things and good restaurants downtown as you can up there. And it's very crowded in Carmel. I would say Carmel is the most popular suburb of Indy, probably. I don't know that to be true, but that's just what I think. Downtown Carmel is bonkers, crazy, so many people. But it's cool. Anywho, today... Um, <laughs> I baked chocolate chip cookies, which Michael either showed you already or will show you. Yeah, maybe I'll do it now. Yeah, maybe he'll show you right now. Here are some cookies that Emily made. Uh, how many, how many are there? 27. Emily made 27 cookies. I ate one. And she ate one. So that's what Emily did today. I think they're pretty good. I just wanted to make them, so I did. And I'm going to share them with people at work tomorrow. So hopefully they're, they're good. Um, and I went to Target and just did a little bit of cleaning. And that's about it. My water's boiling on the stove. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can go get that and okay. make dinner or whatever. Um, yeah, so today was a good day. Emily made cookies. I went to Costco and bought a giant uh, pecan pie, which maybe we can show them, the huge pie. Um, I went there and, yeah, Chris Kringle Market. I probably already showed or already said my thoughts on it, uh, but it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I like seeing the reindeer. I like seeing Santa get into his Kia when he left the show. And, um, and they were not very, it, I, he just like did it right in front of like everyone, which is so funny, but here is a giant pecan pie that we got at Costco because Emily's taking it to work. So, wow, that was loud outside. Emily's taking it to work, uh, for an event. It is four and a half pounds. <laughs> four and a half pounds of Corn syrup and pecans and crust. And crust, yeah. Yeah. So I did that and um yeah, it was an overall great day. If you're still watching, comment down below. What should they comment? Um pecan pie. Uh comment down below pecan pie. Pecan pie. <laughs> pecan. Pecan. Do you like pecan pie? I do. I, I really like pecan pie. I really like uh, chocolate pecan pie. It's very good. And, uh, but I never really eat pecan pie. I mean, I only ever get it maybe at Thanksgiving if it's there. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a great pie. Good, a good dessert. I actually don't know if I like pecan pie, but I just signed up to bring it to my Thanksgiving pigeon. <laughs> Yeah, it's very sugary. So, because it's literally just corn syrup and pecans on top. But I really did like the flavoring of it, of pecan pie. I love the inside of it. It's just so good. 
So it looks good. Yeah, it does look good. Costco. It's kind of funny that Costco even sells that, but because it's so big, <laughs> you think they would just sell two pies put together, but no, they they went all out. They have apple pies that are like that. They have all types like giant cakes, which you've probably been to, to their Costco or Sam's Club or wherever. So, but yeah, that's that's our weekend. Uh, you have anything else? Everyone's definitely going to know that I did not make this pie. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Um, well, okay. Actually, uh, I'll be right back. Before we go, I saw a couple comments, and one is for Emily. So JK asked if I had seen the show La Brea yet because it reminds him a lot of Manifest and – I definitely talked about watching Manifest a lot while I was watching that show because I liked it so much. And no, I haven't seen it. And I'm so glad that you brought it up, JK, because I always am looking for show recommendations based on other ones that I've liked before. So I'm definitely going to check it out. I see that it's on um, Peacock the streaming service and we have that. So yay, I'm going to, I'm going to see, um, about that show, something about a sinkhole, which I can already tell that is going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the comment. Um, and then someone else asked us something. Kathleen asked, uh, what are you and Emily majoring in? Um, I'm interested to learn about your education I'm an, or we're both MBA students. I'm at IU and Emily is at Butler. Yep. So do we, should we go more into that or, <laughs> or no? Like, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. We're just MBA students. So that's what we're doing and getting our master's in business. Yeah. So yeah. But uh, that is everything for tonight. I hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you had a good weekend and I hope you have a good Monday and a good Thanksgiving week. I cannot believe it's already Thanksgiving. Maybe we'll do something festive for uh, Tuesday Tea Talk. There you go. Yeah. I wonder what we could do. I don't know. I don't know. May I don't even know if we did Tuesday Tea Talk last year at this time. I don't remember. So, but yeah, well, I, you know, this was a very, this is probably going to be a Christmas Eve vlog obviously because i'm gonna have to put christmas music in the background of all the some of the videos because um there's just like a lot happening so uh last night but that is all we will see you tomorrow hope you all have a great rest of your week and if no one's told you this today you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here we will see you tomorrow bye <laughs>